right, ladies and gentlemen, once again. What, we, we're going live? We're going live. Oh, we're, my God, I wasn't ready for we're play, this. We're playing FIFA 14. We're going to get our fucking soccer on because we are a men of the people, and most of the people in the world love soccer. Or football, I guess, would be the... What's our, what's our last name? Um, his name hard is knocks. Mr. Nichols, and yeah, Hard Knocks, but H A R D N O X. <laughs> I can't even figure out how to type our name then. <laughs> and uh, we're coming live, playing a little bit of FIFA 14. We're uh, gonna do the podcast here because we don't know when the next opportunity we're gonna have is. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. I fixed it. All right, Mr. Nichols, Hard Knocks. That's our coach. He's English. He's an English boss. He's an English boss, dude. He's, He's a, a wiki plonker. A wiki plonker. He's a limey little cunt, he is. Oh, he can wear a tracksuit. Dude. He's wearing a tracksuit. Mr. Nichols wears a tracksuit. Suit color in navy? Is it like baby blue? Oh, oh, oh it's got me navy, navy then. Skin tone. He's black. Yeah, he's black for sure. Mr. Nichols. Uh... Stocky? Uh... Um, stocky. I was gonna say, if there's like obese, that'd be a good one. <laughs> But today on the unnamed Welcome. on the unnamed podcast, oh, aside from discussing our love for soccer, uh, and riding, and yes, I like to riot. You know, he does like to riot. Uh, we are actually going to get customized Chamberdale jerseys. Chamberdale is our fictitious yeah, town I, in England that we created. How do we do that? I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Crew Alexandra points. Hard knocks. Hard knocks. And that guy gets a huge deal again. Yeah, Mario Goatse. Mario Goatse. He'll spread for the fucking Gats, money. Gatsay? I, I don't know. But Goatse yeah, is funny. Goatse. <laughs> I don't know, but it would be hilarious if it was. <laughs> Dude, did you see the uh, um, the uh, uh, Minecraft? Somebody actually made yeah, a guy made, bending over made and Goatse. spreading his ass. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I've seen that. You showed that to me, actually. That's what I fucked up. But anyway, go ahead, continue. Well, on. today's uh, the subject of the podcast is uh, how far would you let a girl go in terms of hotness? Like... If uh, the hottest girl in the world came up to you and wanted to sleep with you, uh, what would be the li what is something from her past that she has done that would make you not want to sleep with her? Bearing in mind, this is the hottest chick you've ever seen. Yes, we're on there this time. We're All right, there. sweet. All right. Well, okay. Since you uh, so already I, brought up topic, yeah, we, uh, I'm guessing. What what do you have in mind for the? Well, I I, I just had thing? I just had some questions you okay. know I'd like to ask. Um, feel free to play along at home. Uh, <laughs> it's a drinking game. It is a drinking game. Every time Keith gets a boner from one of the awkward things I say, take a shot. He has a boner be right drunk now. Before the game even starts. <laughs> Let's just say that Keith's whole life is an awkward boner. That sounds about right. Okay. Look at these I had already asked you some of these preliminary questions, but I figure we'll just go over them again for people. So, uh, if in her past, <clears throat> if this chick has slept with a midget, would you still get up on? Yes. I agree. I think people are people, and I have no problem whatsoever oh, with okay, little people. Little no, they're not. Little people aren't people. The hobbits. They're hobbits. The hobbits. Well, that means they're fucking twice as heroic. Oh, my God. And they're really good at walking. Heroic sex. <laughs> I've never had that before. And bricking in each other's mouth. <laughs> Straight bricking. <laughs> Okay. Oh my ass. If a chick has been in a three way with two other dudes, would you still bang her? Yes. I also would. I do believe I would still bang a chick if she's been with two other dudes at the same time. She's probably pretty loose though. She's with two dudes though. Yeah. They're more prone to being loose. Yep. How many dicks is that? Two, two dicks! <laughs> okay. If a chick has uh, slept with her first cousin, would you? Her first cousin? Her first cousin. No. Neither would I. However. However. If that first cousin was a hot chick. So, some sweet lesbianist? Some sweet lesbian incest. Some fucking lincest. Lincest. <laughs> Insanity. Um, I don't know. That's... And it's different because, like, if I'm not getting penetrated, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So the same. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I'm thinking I would because it's hard for me to not want to bang a chick who's like open to banging other chicks. Like that's just for me. Or just, right? or just anybody that's a chick you'll bang. Yeah, the, anyone that <laughs> has a vagina, like. Or if, a butt vagina. Or a butt vagina. I'll lick it. I don't care. I'm fucking ruthless with that shit. 
Like now, when I was thinking of these questions, one of the things that came up and like that I know is like the line for me is bestiality. Do okay. you agree? Yeah, I. If a agree. chick in her past, no matter how hot she is. I, if any, if any animals have been anywhere near that, or do touch animals, get the fuck away from me. Okay. Get what, away. What if she was a groupie for a rock star? Nope. But what if she was a groupie for a rock star that you really like? Nope. You wouldn't, would you, but would you have sex with a chick who was with a female rock star, like Lizzie Hale? Yeah, because she's not getting penetrated by dudes. So the, the penetration is the issue for you. Like that's uh, the that's yeah. the big thing. Yeah, okay, I I, think, I I don't think that you're alone on that. I think that's like a pretty common guy thing. Guys like to be the only thing that's been inside of that. Like it's not ever gonna happen. I've been inside your body. I've been inside you. That's kind of weird if you think about it. I know. Like, like especially if you say that. Like I've been inside you. Yeah, like literally. Been like it just like holy crap, they've been actually inside my body. And that's very violating. If you think about it, like a chick. Which, which is which is more violating? Uh, getting banged or sucking some dude off? Like, um, which like, it, which is worse? I guess cheating. Like, if your girl want to fuck some other guy or suck them off? I would be. I'm more offended if she sucks him off. Really? Yeah, because like I agree, but I, I I don't even know why. It's just something like I've always thought of a girl giving a dude head as kind of like a degrading thing for them to have to do. No, like I'm not against it. No, I don't think it is. If if you guys are like together and whatnot. Yeah, I know, but I'm just but saying. If you're cheating, I think it's worse. Yeah, but it's it's yeah, it's I don't know. It's just for me, it's always been like because you you picks your fucking blowjay all over their face. Yeah, you know, that's you know I imagine that. But what about all that fucking roast beef downstairs that got blown up and you're. I guess I guess it's different because your face is closer to their face. And yeah, you're like it's just my dick going in there. Yeah, exactly. There. But I mean, I I'm not gonna lie. I am very orally fixated. Like when I'm with a chick, I do like to go downstairs. It sounds like you're just trying to plug for yourself. I always plug for myself. Butt plug. Butt plug for myself. Get get rid of that fucking desolate wasteland asshole you got over there. <laughs> the jukes, the precious jukes. Okay. Uh, they call me Lord Humongous for a reason. Yeah. And I've I'm. Heard the, I heard it's great. That's all I know. I've heard. Um, it, I've heard it's great too. I've seen the text. You showed me the text. I know. Like, it's great. I was like, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Then you you want me to bang ex girlfriend's sisters who are old enough to be their mother. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Just not that bad though. I know. That's what I said, man. And I need to knock out my forty year old. You do need to knock out your forty year old. Like you, me and Keith have two different goals. I'm a globe trotter. I want to hit someone from every continent. I know Antarctica really? is gonna be a stretch. Keith wants to hit him from the age groups. Yep. He wants to lock it. You lock it in from the age groups. And I admire that goal too. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're both equally impressive. I'd like. I would like to get a chick from every race. I ha I gotta get an Asian. I don't know any Asians. I know. I don't either. Well, I know them, but I don't want to. Like they're not. Okay, what's the ugliest race of people? Uh, I hate to, in, yeah, Indian, Indians. not Native Americans. Native Americans are hot. Native American girls can be hot, but Indians, like from India, Indian. yeah, like oh my god, like look at my dot. Oh my god, look at my cock. I would shoot what? you with my laser. It's in my forehead. Like those. Some some people when they say certain words, and this is off topic, but like. When they say like words like cock, it just like really creeps me out. Like this one guy I work with, we were uh, we were uh, going to a install, and he was driving, and we were getting gas. We were at the gas station, and there's like this chick over there. He he's kind of the kind of guy who says petite, and I would have said skinny. Yeah. So I'm like, I noticed her of course, and he's like, he's like, look at that petite girl over there. I'm like, what? And he's like, that one over there? I'm like, oh, yeah, she's pretty cute. And he's like, I wonder if she's a Turner. Or I don't think Turner was the correct word he said, actually. Yeah. But uh, he's like, yeah, when, when uh, she gets on your cock. And, like, he said it, like, kind of creepy like that. And just, like, completely disturbed me. Because I say shit like that all the time. Yeah, but, like, but, like he's just like, she sits on your cock and, like, turns all the way around. And I'm like, he didn't say like an Indian or anything. He just said like in his normal voice. But just the way he said cock, it completely like creeped me out to the point where I didn't want to like talk to him. Is he anymore. an is he an older gentleman? Yes. I not, think not like not like, not like super old. old. Like I think he's late thirties. Like I'm thinking that like it's a generational thing. Like I'm only comfortable discussing this kind of stuff with people around my age. Well, no. Like 
I've heard other people say cod, but just the way he said cod. Like, just the like, way he said just, it? Just, like, felt like I was molested, like, on the spot. Well, it's, it's kind of like one of those words, like, that, like, depending on how you say it, it can be really creepy. Like, what if you were to be, like, wet? Wet? Wet. That doesn't sound creepy at all. But you can make wet sound really creepy. I guess I've never heard someone say it creepy for me, no. Like, if you, if you were skeeving on some chick, and you were just like, do I make you wet? To me, that sounds creepy. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad to me at all. Like, that just doesn't... That, it, the way you said it there doesn't sound creepy to me. Well, I, said, I don't know how to do it, but I'm saying I, I just know that, like, it could be creepy. I guess. Like, guys as a, a gender are pretty creepy. Like, creepy. I creep, I creep myself out constantly with some of the stuff yep. that I say. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I don't think I've ever creeped myself out. No, well, I'm glad that you, you're not creeping yourself out. That's a good way to be. <laughs> Okay, now back to the original subject. Do you do you know like what is your minimum breaking point for a chick? Would you? I know that you have a thing like where you won't bang your friends' girls. Yeah, I don't want to bang my friends' girls. But would you bang their relatives? <laughs> this is talking about the same girl. Yeah, I would. Is it? What? No, no. I'm talking about like uh, like if if I had an attractive sister, would you try to bang my attractive sister? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd no say problem. that's fair because I probably would bang Wilkie's sister. Or I would back in the day. And I haven't seen her in a long time. So yeah, I mean, back in the day she but, was good, but but I don't I don't know now. But yeah, I would I would bang my friend's sister. That I have so. Whose sister? Armando's. Oh yeah, didn't I already know that? Yeah, but it's not general knowledge. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, Chad, it couldn't have been worse than any Chad banging her. Yeah. So. She's engaged now. I don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like I'm like I swear to God, I'm like a real life good luck Chuck, man. I bang a chick and then she gets engaged eventually. So <laughs> does it count? <laughs> oh, eventually, like it's like yeah, I talk to somebody, then eventually they died. So like if somebody talks, yeah, you might died. have the touch of death. I'm a little worried about it. Every time I leave us, I'm I'm kind of worried that you're, you're gonna your die. Your penis has been dead for many years, then. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of hard to like fuck somebody with like a flappy dick, and not like, if you use glue. Yeah, but that doesn't make it hard. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make it hard at all. Uh, is there a um, a minimum, like a statute of limitations on um, how long it's been since a, one of your homies date? Okay, would you only not bang a chick if your homies also bang them? Like, would you bang a chick that your homie only dated but never fucked? Oh, uh, we can't afford it, anybody. What? Like, would you bang, you wouldn't bang a chick that your homie had slept with. But would you bang a chick that your homie dated but never slept with? What do we want? Pick one of those two. Then ask me again. Pick one of these two. I don't care which. Uh, they're both the same which, price. Whichever name you like. Uh, let's go with Russians. Okay. All right. Now, what are you saying? Okay. Since you wouldn't bang a chick that your homie has slept with, for sure. Uh huh. Would you bang one that your homie dated but didn't sleep with? Yeah, I don't want to follow up any of my homies. Okay. Ever. That's uh, that's admirable. It means. Uh, that's cool. That's that's a good way to be, man. I'm not going to say... Because what if they, like, fall in love with them again or something? Yeah, it could make things awkward, but... As I know... Like, I guess it depends on who the it Chad, is. The Chad Winnie situation, like, was my one of my best friends, now hates me. Yeah? Eh. Yeah, but he actually had opportunities. To yeah, exactly. Him. He fucked it, he fucked which, it up. Which, why should you want to be with another loser? I don't know. Why should you want to be with me again? Yeah. Cause she just wants to use you. Nice. I'm pretty sure we've already discussed this. Yeah, you did yell at so me like, a lot. You did yell at me a lot stupid, last night. <laughs> your lack of like intelligence like really fucking bothers me sometimes. Cause I know you know better, and know. you're just like, I don't give a shit. Yep. I'm really fucking awesome. You're the brains of the That's operation. What it sounds like. You're the brains of the operation. I'm willing to fucking relent. How that. does that make any sense? Like <laughs> allegedly. According to our friend group, I should be like one of the dumbest ones, but yeah. yeah, I'm the smartest one. You are the smartest one. How does that make any sense? Because, man, we all have... Common sense have rules, yep. book smarts, all day, every day. Yeah, for sure. And you're not even, like, dumb in terms of book smarts, I either. Know. But I, I didn't get, like, a 9,000 in my ACTs like you guys did. So, didn't really... Obviously, it didn't really translate in anything, so... Because you didn't apply yourself. Yeah, I don't. I don't apply myself. If it was to fucking some dick, you would apply it. Oh, I sure would. I'd apply my mouth to some fucking cocks. That sounds about right. 
Okay, now we're uh, trying to build our team here on the old. Uh, I'm ten thousand a week. Jesus, man. For three years, I, I'm pretty sure I signed myself to five or set us all to be in five year deals. Maybe that's all we can afford, though. I don't know. I don't think it is. We have a weekly budget of nine thousand. Man, I, I feel bad for these other players on our team that are only making seven hundred fifty dollars a week. <laughs> I think it's because of the position I play in it, Tim. They're driving around in a fucking, like, all of them riding the same car, and you roll up in your own fucking... I, I think that's what it is. Yeah, Benz? Like, I think uh, if you're, like, a 80-something striker... Actually, that guy's a 81 striker and getting paid 750 <laughs> Seven for four years. That might be his first year part of the deal, though. But, yeah, in terms of girls and how hot they are, like, I'm a total retard. So if a, a hot chick comes up to me... And says she wants to bang. It would take a lot for me to turn that down. Bestiality is definitely one. And maybe if she started in one of those gangbang videos. Yeah. I think I'd probably have to turn that down. But I don't know. I don't know. I would date a porn star. I don't care. I mean, she had some good on-the-job training. I like on-the-job training. But me and my buddy Keith here are very different people. Like, it's crazy how that we're, how we're friends. Because we're, like, nothing alike. Yeah. Harry Ashdown. Well, yeah, that's, uh... That that's I'm today's, not. uh, podcast. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. Really like, what would be your... Sure, like your dick. Whoa, whoa. Well, we're kind of di sidetracked today, so it'll be a short one. Just, uh, get something like up there. Like dick. Like my dick, I guess. It's like a tuna can. Really? Completely useless and smells funny. Aww. <laughs> but yeah, like, what what do you guys think? Like, what is the what is the what is the deal breaker for you for a chick? Like, okay, here's another one. Okay. Um, rumored that she has an odor. I have an odor. Would you still hit? Would I you? I order you to fuck out. <laughs> you cunt Like I'm gonna share you guys A like, lifestyle tip here she has odor, don't. This is this is how Like if you If you're nervous About a chick's Fucking odor This is what I do This is the Brandon Brogan m Tactic okay. You reach down And you rub On her vagina Get it like Get it nice and wet You know like Get a little bit Of whatever she's got Going on down there On your hand Bring it up Do not put it In your face Put it in her face if she reacts violently to that, then fucking no go, sir. Because that means that shit is fucked up. And that way you get to know if it's fucked up and you get to avoid the smell yourself. So that's a little tip for you guys to take to the grave. That's the Brandon Broker maneuver. I invented it, patented it. It's good times. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even listening because you're an asshole. You I know. can't even sing very good. I can't sing good. That's why I'm the lead singer of our band. Well, I can't sing well either. Yeah, I can't sing good or well. Practice? No. Okay. You practice? Is the podcast over? Or are you still going? We're still going. Oh, like I was gonna stop, but then I was like thought about it. Don't stop in the name of love. Are you just like combining songs now? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> what you fuck out? What you fuck off, you lame cones? You're like uh that one guy, uh, Fred Durst. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah! Come on! Now we have to stress people, too. Roll it, roll it. Yeah, because you're doing a whole career, man. We're not just playing. Uh, the oh, team. man. I don't want to scout him stuff. Whoa, was that Tim Tebow? Can we scout him? <laughs> Probably, he's a winner. Tim Tebow on our soccer team. Do it. Okay. Scout him. <laughs> Alright, but that's all from us at the Unnamed Podcast. Sorry this one was so short, but uh, we're running out of battery power and um, just figured we want to get, get something up on there. Uh, happy Super Bowl Sunday to everybody. Um, I think Team Unnamed Podcast is definitely rooting for the Broncos as Keith's favorite team. And even though it begrudges me to root for the same people that this fucking faggot likes, I yeah. do kind of would, would kind of like to see Peyton Manning finish his career with more rings than his uh, Down Syndrome brother. Uh, we're so, selling all the players, man. I, we're picking anybody good we can get from these countries. Might as well. Yeah. I mean, that's how you run a team, right? No. We want to be the premier destination that people want to go to. I don't want to be. Aw. Your butthole? 
to premier destination that I want to go to. We got people scouting all over the fucking place, dude. Brazil and and uh, Europe. I'd like to scout some Brazilians. How about I scalp you? God damn it! I was trying to turn it into an innuendo, and you had to go and threaten my life. Fuck your innuendo. <laughs> Fuck your. Fuck you and your game. window. How do you play? Why don't we just go and play a game, then? Okay. A game. Like, I mean, like, go back to the kickoff thing and we'll just play on the same this team. This scouting in progress. We have no idea what we're doing with this game, by the way. We're learning. We're learning. Uh, in the future, we're going to try to have a more organized uh, thing with our podcast because we're going to take it online. Oh, well, yeah, we actually, like, shoot it live. Yeah, but right now, we're still we're still guerrilla style in this, so we're, we're, we're going off the cuff. Uh, let us know what you guys think, uh, what we can do to improve. We're going to have a game. I uh, have 28, I think, right? It's a long time till games. No, oh, yeah, dude, because the season hasn't even started yet. We're still in the off season. Oh shit, we got a lot of games. Fuck All it. right, but you guys are awesome, and uh, we'll we'll have something up here again real soon. We're gonna try to do something at least every Sunday. Uh, so, uh, cheers. And Keith also loves you guys. Oh yeah, I love you guys. Fuck off. <laughs>